I like that. I just like the power that walking next to a lectern has. I was just on my way past, but I thought I'd stop and just see how long it took you to be quiet. Um, thank you all for sort of coming back to university on your Friday evening. Um, I think there's something going on. It's um, been an absolute pleasure to sort of watch these candidates this time around. And um, I'm not going to sort of take very long, but I'm going to introduce my boss, Victoria Hossack, who's going to uh, deliver the results for the NUS delegates is the uh, election results for the NUS delegate positions. There were in total 2,508 votes cast, of which um, 1,558 were for the NUS delegate positions. As there were five places to be filled, the quota was 259.67. At stage one, Caitlin Bloom received 1,013 votes, Chloe Allen received 76 votes, Indira Prasad received 105 votes, Lucy Stokes received 118 votes, Matthew Jameson Hay received 100 votes, Thomas Greaves received 109 votes, and the open nominations received 37 votes. At this point, Caitlin Bloom was successfully elected. Okay, and then her votes were transferred as follows. Chloe Allen received an additional 73 votes, making her new total 149. Indira Prasad received an additional 26 votes, making her new total 131. Lucy Stokes received an additional 66 votes, making her new total 184. Matthew Jameson Hay received an additional 51 votes, making his new total 151. Thomas Greaves received an additional 70 votes, making his new total 179 and reopen nominations received an additional 53 votes, making that new total 90. At this stage, both Lucy Stokes and Thomas Greaves were elected and reopen nominations were eliminated. Okay, so in the final round of reopen nominations, 90 votes, four transferred as follows. Chloe Allen received an additional vote, making her new total 150. Indira Prasad received an additional vote, making her new total 132. And Matthew Jameson Hay received an additional two votes, making his new total 153. At this stage, both Chloe Allen and Matthew Jameson Hay were elected. So just to kind of confirm, the five delegates going to the NUS conference are Caitlin Bloom, Lucy Stokes, Thomas Greaves, Chloe Allen and Matthew Jameson Hay. I'd now like to invite Sherry to the stage. Sherry. Uh, these are the votes for the women's representative. Of the 2,508 votes cast in total, there were 1,485 for the position of women's representative, making the quota 754. At stage one, Chloe Allen received 448 votes and Laura Fortune received 942 votes and reopen nominations received 55 votes. Laura Fortune was duly elected the position of women's representative. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. Do you want to come up? much to everybody who voted for me it really really means so much and thank you to everyone who's like helped out all the other nominees have helped out with my campaign you've been a massive help thank you so much thank you hello everyone uh, i'm tom williams vice president media and comms uh, and i'm going to be reading the results for the mature students representative of the 2508 votes cast in total there were 1508 for the position of mature students representative making the quota 754 at stage one, Sarah Smith received 1,417 votes and reopened nominations received 61 votes. Sarah Smith was duly elected to the position of mature student representative. <laughs> Unfortunately, she can't be here tonight, so I'm sure she expresses her thanks to everyone that voted. And on it. Apparently, the executive team haven't learnt to introduce each other this year, so I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Lynette, and I'm your current president. So I will be reading the results for the black and minority ethnic students representative. Of the 2,508 votes cast in total, there were 1,534 for the position of black and ethnic minority students representative, making the quota 767. At stage one, Indira Prasad received 503 votes. 
Fatima Utunde Agarowu received 925 votes and Rio for nominations received 106 votes. Utunde Agarowu was duly elected to the position of Black and Ethnic Minority Students Representative. Now is when the fun begins. I've been, um, Ian's just been sat there and I've been taunting him with my envelope because he's like, what's that piece of paper? Oh, the power in the envelopes. Um, I would like to introduce um, Fanny Lees Forrest, our, uh, our welfare advisor, who is going to read the welfare position. I'm going to give the result for the vice president welfare. So of the... 2,508 votes cast in total. There were 1,956 for the position of Vice President Welfare, making the quota 978. At stage one, Sarah Lister received 1,553 votes. Xander Cook received 357 votes, and reopen nomination received 46 votes. Sarah Lister was duly elected to the position of Vice President Welfare. Um, I don't usually win anything, but <laughs> thank you to everyone who voted. Uh, thank you to my amazing campaign team. Uh, thank you to the other candidates as well. You've all helped out a lot. And thank you to all the SU staff that have been really supportive. Yeah, thanks, Kalina. <laughs> thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the wonderfully charismatic Sports Development Manager. I think that's Ross Harrison. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That's not a microphone. <laughs> I did that joke last year as well. That's true. <laughs> right, uh, so this is for the Vice President Student Activities role. Um, of the 2,500. Eight votes cast in total. There were 1,981 for the position of Vice President, Student Activities, making the quota 991. At stage one, Christopher Mutton received 1,183 votes. Enoch Vera received 263 votes. Richard Thomas received 500 votes. And Reopen Nominations received 35 votes. Therefore, Christopher Mutton was duly elected to the position... <laughs> That was tense. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for all the help that you gave me. Anyone that voted, thank you. And Kalina, you've been great. We didn't see you in the nun outfit, but thank you anyway. Um, thank you, everyone. And now the wonderful, blossoming member of staff that is Suzanne um, she is our communications coordinator. Hi, I'm here to present um, the results for the Vice President Media and Communi Communications. Um, of the 2,508 votes cast um, in total, there were 2,023 uh, 2, for the position of Vice President Media and Communications, making the quarter 1,012. Um, at stage one, Alice Wilson received 1,510 votes. Mark Lyle received 477 votes. Reopen nominations received 36. Alice Wilson was duly elected the position of DPA. <laughs> I literally don't know what to say other than thank you. And I did get to see Kalina in her nun outfit. Um, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you for my campaign team, to everyone that voted and everyone that helped. I really, really appreciate it.
It is my pleasure to introduce Dominic Shellard. Thank you very much. OK, good evening. I'm delighted to be able to announce the result for the Deputy President Education. Of the 2,508 votes cast in total, there were 2,117 for the post position of Deputy President Education, making the quota 1,059. At stage one, Alison Leggett received 232 votes. Caitlin Bloom received 1,403 votes. Mahad Falaj received 237 votes. Thomas Greaves received 226 votes. And reopened nominations received 19 votes. So Caitlin Bloom was duly re-elected to the position of Deputy President of Education. Oh my God, Khalida, I hate you. You've done it to me twice. Um, I did this last year as well. Thank you so much, guys, for trusting me with this again. Um, thank you to all the other candidates, everyone who voted me, and my amazing campaigns team. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for coming and wish you all a very good night. <laughs> um, I think there's one position left, and there's no one better than Max McLaughlin, our CEO, to introduce that. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, these are the results for the president. Of the 2,508 votes cast in total, there were 2,192 for the position of president, making the quota 1,096. At stage one, Ben Rossi received 227 votes. Ian Warrington received 1,530 votes. Matthew Jamieson Hay received 269 votes. Roger Kelman received 127 votes. And reopened nominations received 39 votes. Ian Warrington was duly elected to the <laughs> position. Everyone's knows, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, thank you to the SU staff, firstly. Uh, this is the second time. This is worse than the first time. Um, I, last year I said that I was going on tour again, so I'll see you in Rimini. Um, thank you very, very, very much for re-electing me. Thank you very much to everyone involved. Thank you to all the other candidates in all the other categories. Without those, it, wouldn't, it would be rubbish anyway. Um, but no, thank you very much, Mr Kalina. I do hate you more than ever <laughs> but no thank you very much um join us for a beer afterwards uh, i'm gonna get, have a few <laughs> I would just like to sort of thank you on behalf of the Students' Union. Once again, it's been an amazing time. I've been really sort of honoured to have been part of that process. Um, I think we've got a great team, I'm sure you'll agree, and I'd like to just say, can we have a round of applause for everyone that was elected and those people that weren't elected. Thank you for participating in the Student Union elections because without you, we couldn't do it. So thank you very much. Um, As we said throughout, there are winners and losers, but please, if you haven't been successful, please don't think that that's anything on your part. You've done fantastically well to brave the cold, the cups of tea without sugar, because I hadn't got it yet, the cups of tea without milk, because I hadn't got it yet. You've done fantastically well. I'm really proud of all of you. Um, I want to just say, sort of, knuckle down and do your assignments now. Don't you dare think about blaming me if you don't get those first or two ones that you're expecting. Do your coursework, and can I ask that everyone that was successfully elected um, can sort of come over. Um, we've got champagne for all of you, all of you candidates. I have to say that because the rugby team are here, and uh, we don't have a lot there. So if you want to, um, if you are a full-time executive officer, please come along, and uh, we'll speak to you about what happens next, because now's when the fun begins. But thank you very much for giving up your Friday night to be here with us. I'm sure I sort of speak on behalf of the candidates. You guys are amazing, so thank you. Thank you.